Alright, in this video I want to look at trying to prove some identities. So, suppose we have uh, these couple of identities and we would try to, try to figure out if they're true or false. So, um, let's look at part A here first. Uh, 1 minus sine t over cosine t plus cosine t over 1 minus sine t equals 2 secant t. So, I typically, you know, in general start with the more complicated side uh, and try to work on that side. You know, and to me when I look at this, sometimes getting started is the hard part. Um, you know, I see two terms here, uh, and I only see a, a single thing on the right side. So to me it says, well, you know, I'm going to have to have at least a, only one thing on the left side, so I'm going to try to combine these, which tells me let's get common denominators and uh, so we can combine the fractions. Okay, so for our first fraction, it looks like we would have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by this uh, 1 minus sine t. So plus, and then our second term it looks like we just have to multiply the numerator and denominator by cosine t. And again, I'm kind of wondering, does this equal 2 secant t at the end? So, okay. Um, so, let's simplify the numerators. So, we've got 1 times 1, which will be 1. We have 1 times negative sine t, which will be negative sine t. Then we have negative sine t uh, times 1. Then we have a negative sine t and a negative uh, sine t, which will give us positive sine squared t. Uh, looks like over here we'll get cosine times cosine, so we'll get cosine squared of t. In the denominator, we still have our, uh, we would have our, our single denominator, our common denominator of cosine t times 1 minus sine t. Alright, so we can do a couple things here. Uh, notice we've got sine squared plus cosine squared, and sine squared uh, plus cosine squared, remember there's an identity that simply says that's equal to 1. So really we have uh, a negative sine t and a negative sine t. That's going to give us negative 2 sine t. Um, we have a positive 1, and by our identity we have another positive 1, so we would have positive 2 over cosine t times 1 minus sine t. Well, it looks like we could factor a 2 out of the numerator. Then we would have 2, uh, we would have 1 minus sine t over cosine t times 1 minus sine t. And hey, now we can cancel out our factors, the 1 minus sine t's. We're left with 2 over cosine t. Uh, you can think about this as being 2 times 1 over cosine of t. And 1 over cosine is secant. So this is, in fact, an identity. Um, it is correct to say that that original expression does equal 2 secant t. So this, I would say, is true.